Hi. So here we are taking one more set of problems which we are going to solve. I have noted down three problems and we are going to solve them one by one. In first problem I have to find a number whose 10% is 50. Right. So we are going to assume that the number is x. So let the number be x and if x is the number the first problem gets converted into 10% of x is equal to 50, right? 10% of x can be written as 10 by 100 of x that is multiplied by x is equal to 50, right? If I solve it further, this 0 will cancel this 0 and from here we will get x by 10 is equal to 50 or x is equal to 50 multiplied by 10 that is 500 right so the result for the first question is 500 if 500 is the number it's 10 percent will be 50 so result over here we have got as 500 right and now let's take the second problem and in second problem also we are going to assume the number as x only. So the second problem will get converted into 45% of x is equal to 540. Right? So from here we will get 45% is actually 45 by 100 of x that is this is multiplied by x is equal to 540. Right? And from here we will get x is equal to 540 multiplied by 100 by 45, right? 9 fives are 45, 9 six are 54 and 0, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10 and 0, 6 twos are 12 and 2 zeros, right? So from here we have got the value of x as 1200, right? Yes, that means the 45% of 1200 is equal to 540. Let's find it out. So 45% of 1200 will be 1200 multiplied by 45 by 100. Right? 0 will cancel zeros. 12 fives are 60. Carry forward 6. 12 fours are 48. 48 plus 6 is 54. Right? So yes, this is the reverse check in which we are finding the 45% of 1200 and yes, we got the value as 540. Right? So in this case, that number is 1200. Right? Yes, it is very simple. And now we will solve the third question. And again, we will assume the value of that number as x and if we assume the value of that number as x, this question can be reframed as 75% of x is equal to 360 and we have to find the value of x, right? 75% of x can be written as 75% will be 75 by 100 because percent is nothing but the numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100. So 75% of x will be 75 by 100 multiplied by x and this will be equal to 360, right? So from here the value of x will be equal to 360 multiplied by 100 divided by 75. What I have done? I have transpositioned this fraction and taken it to the right hand side, right? 25 threes are 75, 25 fours are 100, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6 and 0. So what we get? We get the value of x is equal to 120 multiplied by 4 which will be equal to 0 multiplied by 4 is 0, 4 twos are 8 and 4 ones are 4. Right? That means 75% of 480 will be 360. Want to cross check? We'll do it. 75% of 480 
0 will cancel 0. 5 1s are 5, 5 5s are 25, 5 2s are 10, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8, right? And this will be equal to 15 4s are 60, 6 carried forward, 15 2s are 30 plus 6 is 36, right? So this proves that our calculation is correct, right? Because 75% of 480 is giving us 360, right? So in this case, the value of that number will be 480, right? So this is the way how we find the number whose percentage value is given, right? So in coming up videos, we are going to solve few more examples based on percentage. So keep watching them. Bye-bye.